All right, today is Monday, May 2nd, 2022. It's 10, 10 a.m., and I'm done trading for the day. Today is the first day of the month, and historically, on the first day of the month, I'm always red. And that's no different today. However, because April was so good, and I did so well, I actually quadrupled my risk, or my size that I enter in with, which I really don't know why I did that since the first of the month is always red and quadrupling something is never a good idea but I thought I'll give it a shot because it was so good so let me go over the trades for today I traded Baba or Alibaba is the name of the company and as you can tell it was weak on Friday and it just continues selling off it just all this weakness here um, and so today in pre-market that's what I saw I saw the weakness this one tried and a huge rejection of course this is the 8 a.m. candle so it's gonna be a lot bigger than any other candles uh, in pre-market but it did show me that it was completely rejected nice full red candle there so I thought I might go short on this one today however as you can see it started gaining some momentum which kind of made me a little made me question it a little bit so that's why I did not enter it pre-market so I waited when the market opened and what happened is it flushed down uh, reversed somewhat but not back up to VWAP and then it flushed down again right here which to me shows weakness so on this candle when it did flush down past this red dotted line that's the low uh, of the pre-market hours and, and after hours as well when it went below it I wanted to short it because it was showing me weakness now what I should have done is I should have waited for a confirmation because obviously it stopped here for some reason there's some support at this point so that should have told me that there's gonna be some support when the market opens too. However, I did not take a close enough look at it and I did go short when it crossed that point. And as you can tell, it's a complete reversal. I mean, it's still going up. Look at that. Just a complete reversal today. Um, and so what I did is I did short it at let me get the numbers here 9547 and I got stopped out or I covered my losses at VWAP which is was 9603 at the time so that's where I stopped out because I quadrupled my size starting today this was a huge loss for me almost everything that I had made in April was lost in this one trade so not a smart thing to do as a trader at all um, I have to think about what to do later on but so because of that my loss today was pretty large which um, doesn't allow me to take another full trade because I don't have more to lose on the day so the next couple of trades I tried to make some money back and I en entered with very small size because I could not risk as much anymore which you can see the problems that creates because even if I do get a winner it does nothing to my one big loser and that's what happened here it's Carnival Cruise Line CCL that I traded next uh, I did see weakness on this and after market opened it was breaking through some big liquidities including the low of the hours right there and so what I did is I shorted it at that point I shorted uh, Carnival Cruise Lines at 1712 and there was a large amount of liquidity at 17.00 so I covered right here before it hit that point and I actually got covered at 1706 so I made six cents on it but again that's it did nothing to my loss because I had to drastically reduce my size uh, but I did make money on it you can see eventually it broke 17 but not by much until it started to completely reverse just like 
um, Baba did earlier, or Alibaba. So, that was my next trade. I was a winner, but it didn't do much to the loss. Next, I traded Save or Spirit Airlines. And this one, I saw weakness in pre market as well. As you can see, just stayed below the VWAP the whole time. Really didn't even try to make a move to go higher. So I thought I'd give it a shot and I shorted it at the VWAP. And then I set a stop and break even because once again, I can't lose anymore. <laughs> So I shorted at 21.85, however I got filled at, on a pop up at 21.86, so I actually lost a penny there, which my stop was obviously below my entry, but that's where I got filled at. And then the next trade, I tried again, I shorted at 21.83, got covered at 21.81, so I made two cents there again, pop back up against my stop. So. I thought, okay, this is not going any lower. I'm going to get out of this one. Never want to marry a stock and just stay with it, but see what's working and go into that. So I went to Tesla next. And Tesla, because it's such an expensive stock and it moves so rapidly, I do look at it on a higher time frame. So I was looking at the five minute today on Tesla. And. Why is it not showing? There it goes. Alright, so what I saw today was some weakness that got bought back up, as you can see, making almost a doji candle, and then a huge rush that was increasing volume, which was great, and a big green candle. And then a pullback, but only down to VWAP. It did not go below VWAP, which still shows me, hey, this has some strength in it. And that's candle bounced back up. So what I thought I would do is, if you see this 5-minute candle, this is the one that broke through the VWAP. So what I like to do is go along when it breaks that candle. As you can see where my, where my cursor is right now, I did get filled on a long position. However, as soon as you tap that, it reversed. So that's another loss there. Um, I entered a trade long at 883.50. What's the high there? The high is 883.50. So I got filled on the highest point possible, and then it reversed on me. And I got stopped out at 878.01 adding to my earlier loss on Baba. So at this point I was just done with the day. Um, I'm not doing well today. I obviously can't read the market. It's not doing what it did in April. So for tomorrow it will be wise not to go in full size like I did today on the first trade but perhaps half size. Um, so that way if it is a loser I can take another trade of the same size to hopefully make a winner that would actually cover the losses of the first trade and then I can continue on with the day. However, if I lose both trades in a row, then I will just have to close up shop for the day and be another red day. So we'll see what happens tomorrow. I'm going to try to play a little smarter. Again, quadrupling your size is um, never encouraged and it's not wise. but. That is what I did today because I felt so good about April. However, things have changed. And again, the first of the month, one more red day. So that was it for May 2nd, Monday. I will be back tomorrow and hopefully it will be a better day.